Welcome back to my kitchen for another recipe video. This is my son Levi. He's going to help us today and my name is Laura. This is a super simple focaccia bread recipe. Um, it is, it's kind of a cheater version. I'm sure I'm not doing things all the right way as the Italians would say, but I've only ever gotten rave reviews and so I feel like it's a legitimate recipe even so. So focaccia bread, super delicious, um, very good with anything Italian, spaghetti, um, even soup, it, I love it. So we're gonna start with a cup and a half of warm water, quarters of a tablespoon of instant yeast, and a half a tablespoon of sugar. And we're gonna give it a little stir. You just wanna help uh, get the yeast started. That's what the sugar is doing, giving um, the yeast a little bit of sugar to get it, to get it started. We are gonna set that aside for anywhere to five to 10 minutes to uh, just activate the yeast. In the meantime, while our yeast is activating, we can get our dry ingredients ready. Now, I'm gonna just say that you could easily, very easily make this recipe from by hand. Um, I seem to do everything in the mixer. If it can be done in the mixer, I do it in the mixer. And that's probably because I'm doing too many things at once at any, at any given moment. So I'm doing it in the mixer today because that's how I usually make it. It would be super easy to do it by hand. So we are gonna put three cups of flour into the mixer. Three quarters of a tablespoon of salt. It is a salty bread, no doubt about it. And I like to put just a little bit of garlic powder in my focaccia bread, because I like garlic. A half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a tablespoon of Italian spice. Realistically, you could put whatever spices you want in this. If you really love rosemary, that's a good one. Um, sometimes I do my own mix with oregano, basil, thyme, whatever you like. Turn it on low, just to give it a little mix. So now we will just wait until our water is ready. So what we're gonna do is um, pour the water into the mix. We're just mixing it up until it's well combined. Okay, you can stop it, Levi. I'll stop it at least once. Scrape it down. Scrape down the sides a little bit to make sure there's no kind of dry mix on the bottom. There always tends to be. I think I like using the mixer for this recipe because it is such a sticky dough. Let's turn that on again and get those dry spots out of there. That looks good. Once we get all the dough off the paddle here, we'll set that aside and um, I'm just going to kind of form the dough together. Okay, and prepare my bowl. So I like to put this dough into a glass bowl um, while it's rising. I want to put some oil around the edges here so that the dough doesn't stick. You can use a little bit of an excess of oil because we're going to put, we want the dough covered in oil. So pop it in there. There she comes. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of push it together to create a bit of a ball again. And um, with a little bit of oil on my fingers so it doesn't stick to me, I'm just going to turn it once. Oops. There. Cover it with saran wrap. I'm going to trap all the moisture in there and then we're gonna let it sit anywhere between two to three hours. Let's make sure that's nice and tight. So this is basically what your dough will, will look like after it's sat for two or three hours. Um, today this has been about three hours and depending on how warm your house is, um, if you have a warm spot, you can put it in, do that and that helps it, helps it get going. Get your oven preheated to 425 and then Levi can take off the saran wrap. If you have one of these stones at home, this is a great time to use it, a pizza stone. Um, if you don't have a pizza stone, that's okay. We'll do this on a well-oiled um, pan. We're gonna just dump it in here. Now keeping in mind that this dough is sticky. So you're gonna really wanna make sure you put some oil on your hands so that this dough doesn't completely stick to you. Um, we're just gonna shape it into whatever shape you want. I seem to always make mine into a circle, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna gently flatten it out to about um, half an inch thick or so. Then we're gonna let that sit for another 20 minutes or so. 
already. So our dough has had about 20 minutes to rise. It doesn't get huge, but it, it's good to let it rest like this. And this is the fun part of focaccia bread. So make sure you have clean hands. We're gonna make a bunch of little um, indents on the top. And you just go like this. Go ahead, Levi. A little more. Okay. Then we're gonna drizzle the top with a, a little more oil. There it is. I'm gonna drizzle uh, some coarse salt, or in this case, I'm using uh, Malden salt. Yep, there you go. Sprinkle it with salt. You use whatever herbs you love. Okay, perfect. Now this is ready to, to go into an oven that's preheated to 425. Because I have a decent amount of oil that I've kind of spilled on the side of this, this might smoke a little bit, so you might want to put your fan on, but either way, that's power for the course. Alrighty, it's been 25 minutes. Let's check on the bread. Yes, it's ready. What you're looking for is that it's nicely browned on the top and I'll pull it out and just double check the bottom. Again, depending on your pan, um, sometimes the bottom is more brown, less brown, but anyway, that's nice and brown, so it's perfect. So this is my recipe for a super simple focaccia bread. I hope you enjoy it. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.